is a first radio interview, so we are just mm. honored. Honored. And I, and I must say, oh, I forgot to observe protocol to mm. the Z Dominators. Thank you so much. Uh, we, on behalf of the Z Dominators, you are acknowledged. My <laughs> friend. Oh. You know? Yes. <laughs> I'm the spokesperson today. On, on behalf of them, you acknowledge. Are you saying that live on A? Live on A. You are taking that, that. They could even quote me. That title. You have been acknowledged, my brother. <laughs> His name is Aaron K. His address is a C plus three. Wow. Aaron <laughs> uh, K. Man, what do you have to say to to like your your hero? She is here in the flesh. To be honest, I don't even know what to say because I was I went on Twitter and I was like, Z Dominators, what must I ask her? Because you no, know, she's here, you know. Because I know we've got a lot of questions. Um, but what I've gotten from the other z dominators from twitter is that just know that whatever you're gonna do we are constantly gonna support you no uh -huh. matter what yeah. that's what they said on twitter They're like whatever you're gonna do we'll be behind you no yes. matter what so yeah that's from the z dominators i'm representing uh -huh. them today okay so yeah Wow. Not not him looking at me like that. <laughs> nah, today I'm a Z Dominator. <laughs> I'll, I'll see the work tomorrow. <laughs> hey, you said so. You went from both them to like Z Dominator. <laughs> hey. As it should. But yeah, Z man, th thank you so much uh, for like uh, joining us uh, right here on uh, Vow FM. This is this is why we wanted to have you. We, we wanted to get this side out of you, understanding just who you are outside of the show. Yes, the show gave you the fans that uh, support you yes. so much, like. Aaron K, but it's also important to understand the person and and uh, what we want to achieve with such chats is like uh, you know get people to even push with you not just after yes. the show but years and years uh, moving forward. Uh, just in in closing, mm -hmm. what do you have to say to 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 your fans, you know, like the people who have just been instrumental to oh you making gosh. it all the way to like the final day? You know what? Every time I have to say something to them, I'm always speechless. Like I don't Aww. know what to say, but like they know. I always say thank you so much. I I appreciate everything that they're doing for me and everything that they yet to done because apparently there's a surprise that's coming. Oh, yes. I can't wait. Yeah. So I appreciate them so much and I love them. And I see they're writing for me every day. They're pushing my work every day. And honestly, like, like, ooh. Mm -hmm. We love cry. you too. We love you. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you, you so much. <laughs> Have you ever been told that you, you, have a, you have a voice for radio? I just picked really? it up. Really? Like, yeah. Listen. Oh no, chow. Girl, you, really? you got this. You got it. <laughs> no one's ever told me that. Well, I'm telling you now, and I'm gonna put you on the spot because you, you want to do so many things. Let's add radio on the list. So mm -hmm. up next, I'm gonna play a song by Cuddy B. It's called Like What, and I would like. You What's the song? It's a Cuddy B. Like What. Okay. Um, hi guys, you tuned into Vow FM, and right now we're about to listen to Cardi B. Like what? Period, bestie. Thank you so much for joining us here. Yeah, that's you caught me off guard. That industry, but I'm still trying to figure out so see how much that. So I'm also working on that, and I'm also working on approaching brands because there's a lot of brands that I want to work with. Um, you know, content creation is is very huge. So um, I want to work with brands. You know, be be. A brand, brand ambassador for yeah. big companies. Um, I mean, I'm be able forever. Listen, you have the face. I doubt so, it. <laughs> have you seen yourself? Hey, have you seen yourself, ma'am? So, With the face. Yeah, she can send me a coffee. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Just for vibes. Just to gossip her. You know? In the casket. <laughs> so See. I'm also looking in. <laughs> to what businesses can I open that can, you know, maybe last me like a lifetime in the wig business as well? So I'm trying to sell wigs for. pretty so yes i know that one that one will push me and yeah this i'm, I'm planning on I, I can never say that enough today <laughs> <laughs> nah, she is. i've she been was... trying to contain myself because when so, you know, so, i'm uh, behaving okay, let me keep funny. quiet let me let me keep <laughs> quiet <laughs> yeah and I, I like how you know you were able to articulate all of that without having to think about it you were like ah oh, not like you knew what you wanted to do you just went yeah. like from one to three to four and uh, one thing I've also noticed uh, when when the season ends, mm -hmm. there will also be former housemates uh, who who come together with uh, you yes. know the recent housemates. Have you had any uh, you know housemates uh, reaching out to you? Maybe advice about you know handling life after the house or anything of that sort. Um, one yes, but I haven't gotten like the chance to speak to her. But I told her I was gonna call her this morning, and it just happened to go to But yeah, one or two definitely yeah. 
they, you know, they reach out on some, this is what I'm trying to do. I know you're good at this. I'd like for you to give me advice. So if you know, like how I might go, how I can go about it. Can, and I'm, I'm very willing to help that person. So I'm definitely yeah. going to do that. I like that. Do, do you remember your audition tape? Like, yes. <laughs> I remember. Yes. What did you say in that tape? I was like, I was even wearing red lipstick. I was like, I want them to remember me. I'm going to wear red lipstick so that they don't forget me. I was like, hi, my name is Z. I'm 26. I was born in Gup Gupi and I grew up in Gup Gupi. Uh, uh, I've moved a lot, a lot. I've changed schools a lot. So, you know, that makes me... Hey, I'm not. <laughs> you said a lot. <laughs> I said a lot, but like, I was just telling them about me, the type of person I am. Oh, yeah, I'm goofy. I'm funny. Um, yeah. You just tell them about yourself. I still have it though. Yeah, that, man, she is a Zintle Mufuge, affectionately known as a Z Big Brother, Mzanzi Siamosha, finalist. So, yeah, that's the trick. If you want to get into Big Brother, the trick red lipstick. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so we, we wrap up the chat uh, very shortly. For now, though, I it's obvious those interviewers love Z. Hey, baby. What's up, my darling MVPs, and how you all doing? Welcome back to Sale with Mimi Shosley Mimi, where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see they hurt. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If it snows, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there, subscribe, and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me, how do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see they hurt. So, guys, uh, it was into Z on her interview. You know, she spoke about how the show has been with her mom. Post show, it's not been easy. That's Herself and her mom have been watching this show, right, from the get-go, but they do not know about the social media aspect of it. Like, coming out of the house, seeing people drag her gets to her mom so much. But she had to explain to her mom that, Mom, this is how it is. Oh, there are people who would like me. There are people who would come for me. But I am cool. Do not let this get to you. You know, she spoke about how proud the granny was of her and all of that. Meanwhile, but guys, before we continue, I think I just have need to flog myself. It was one of our favorite hosts, Bethany, yesterday. And the mistress Mimi did not post him. Who does that? Yes, Lawrence Maleka, we all know him, the host of the Siamashu season, the baby in Zanzi, a man who knows his onions. Happy birthday to you, Mr. Lawrence. May the good Lord bless your new age. Happy birthday to the funniest, greatest MC and ongoing actor I have even met. Have a great one, sir. This is coming from Kosi, the winner, Tuala. You know, guys, the wishes were so real. Like, he was all over the place yesterday. Of course, why won't he be? You know, you see the current housemate posting him, you know, wishing him a happy birthday back to back. You know, his CL was choked, like, with birthday good wishes. So, happy birthday to him because I did not talk about it yesterday, but I deem it fit to say it today. Talking about this, um, Kosi, yeah, guys, it is so safe to tell you guys that coffee with Kosi with this Fantastic Four is out. And it's actually an interesting one. I'm yet to finish everything, but it's so interesting. You know, some part I actually got into people where Sinai was asked about his babe, you know, and he said it's not a great situation when it comes to his babe, you know, that they are good. They are so good. You know, she understands this life of fame, you know. And then Z actually asked in the video, you know, fans, you know, shippers, the Zinai shippers, they want to observe one or two. Z passed her coffee to Sinai. It was Sinai who made her coffee. People were like, hey, seed love. And guess what? Sinai, even me, sometimes I call Sinai Zinai. If I make that mistake, they do not think I am a shipper. No, it is just the name, it, it rhymes well. Like, <laughs> it's looking the same. Sinai Zinai. It's just the Z in it, you know. So, yeah, um, Sinai actually gave a shout out to the Zinai shippers. He said he thinks, if not for you guys, that he wouldn't get to this um, 
time. Like he wouldn't get to where he is right now when he gets to the game. That he thinks Zina Yeshiva has played a role in him getting to the finale and all of that. He sent a shout out to you guys, Zina Yeshiva. So you guys should use that one at home for the. So why she sent that shout out? Then Kosi now added her own that actually stirred the social space. You know everything that has to do with Kosi comes with extra. Kosi now said, with that being said, after Sinaye made that shout out, Kosi was like, with that being say, said, also me, I'm sending a shout out to Kubangas and Koye. We, oh my God. <laughs> Come and see the X app, the shippers, Koye, maybe they started dragging. Oh, the Koye and uh, the Kobanga said, oh, she mentioned us first. Oh, she mentioned, I'm like, yo, guys. And when she said it, she let her say, oh, I was joking, I was joking, I was joking, guys, you know. Me, I was like, Kosi, you have your ways with this, uh, uh, getting people talk, like, you really have your ways, you know. I love the advice Kosi gave the housemates at the end about buying followers and like. The brand wants to see how your audience engages. She is right because some of the best influencers in SA don't have over 300k followers. So true. Because I think what I noticed right now, people want to buy their audience. You know, Jig. Meanwhile, while the Zinahi is trending more than the Papi, this for sure, young Papi said De Lulu is the only Solulu. <laughs> <laughs> so people were like, oh, he's actually referring to Zinaye Shippers, right? She said, the Lulu is the only Solulu for you guys. Well, how have you like bicycle indeed? Knowing you definitely cooking, I can smell it. And then he replied and said, where do you all get this? Man, ma, I am a clown shame. I deserve a clown suit. Yes, baby, but you do deserve that clown suit. <laughs> all right, the Solulu is the Lulu. Okay, my boy, you can't shame the shameless was a person. That is, if you can't shame the shameless was a person, it's going to be young papi. And guess what? That's so true. The more they try to drag this boy, this boy will come out and show off himself. Papi, you have to drop the full gist. You can't just come out of nowhere and say this. My boy, please don't say anything that will make me defend the game. I have been defending since day one. I said, young papi fans, kudos to you guys. Because what? Omo, he choke. Meanwhile, this is a graceful jarade saying, I would like to express the deeper sentiment towards Red Force. You are not my fans, you are my family, and your efforts, love, and contributions have touched me. I have never been surrounded by a magnitude of love as much as you all have given and shown. I love you all. So this was Jared saying thank you, thank you, thank you to you guys for the gifts. Yes, I share the video here. You know, maybe we'll always share. I share a video here where they gifted Jared. I think he deserved more than that. That boy made the season so interesting. Whether you like it or you leave it. Jared made this season. See, I'm just saying so interesting. You know, our greatest pleasure and privilege, Jared. We cried happy tears with you last night. This is a forever love. So the um, Red Force really tried. They, it, an anonymous got him iPhone 15 Pro. Like, guys, you know, a check of 50,000 rounds, if I am not mistaken. Yeah. And then the video is on my channel. If you've not seen it, you can go there. Screw down a bit, you would see it. I want to see you crying again. It's just the beginning. Tribe on Jared. Jared is grateful. We love you like crazy. You deserve more, baby. You know, that's his words. He's always telling Big Brother at, at the end of every of his diary session, Big Brother, I love you like crazy. <laughs> Any which way, this isn't poor me, posting heavy on believing in God's plan and timing, you know. And then she posted this beautiful picture of herself with this caption. People were like, baby girl, don't worry. The world is your... um." Safe space, you know, you're gonna make it, you know, because you have talent and all of that. And when are we getting the Quenza Kalani track? She said very soon. Palace said listing, and then she said, My friend. Of course, we all know the relationship Pale and Pumi had in the house. I am a Lema fan, but I love seeing this housemate winning man. All their stories were so touching in that house. And I will never judge any of them with two million on. Time to show us what they made of. Time to walk. I think I love this. May all those radio station and acting gigs locate you. Now so gorgeous to many more. I love the slammer stand. What this person just wrote. Meanwhile, Mpumi posted about her homecoming. And it is said to be on the 13th, which is tomorrow. And then, okay, let me read this first of all before I tell you guys how it's Terry space. We are coming with the heat with Uncle Waffles as we celebrate Mpumi Landan homecoming. Waffles and Queen Yase Landan under the same roof with big birthday celebrations. 
Be there or be told, said Mpumi. People are like, yo, Mpumi, you still have not stopped this competition with Liema, both outside of the house. You just want to do everything Liema does. Liema already fixed her homecoming on the 13th. Why do you have to fix yours the same day? That is the drag she has been receiving. Sweet but Sarah said, that one housemate is really weird though. Having her homecoming the same day as Liema, I swear she would never be the allegations. Anyway, we move. So they were calling um, Pumi out that she's still feeling jealousy because she still actually fixed her homecoming the same day as Liema's on. And then there's uh, some people admiring what Liema and Z are doing behind the scene. And the screenshots, this reply of Liema that said, oh, we love emoji on Z's picture that she posted yesterday. And Ohema said, oh, it's not one-sided. Now fans, they fight themselves. Z and Liema are cool. This person, they actually said this because after Z shared Liema's song on her story, now they are saying, oh, it's not even one-sided. Liema and Z are cool. I've even shared before on my video where there, there is this their reaction. Liema is always liking this picture Z is always liking Yema picture fans are the one doing themselves this house makes are cool they are cool with each other last last everybody could do all right any which ways guys me i'm gonna be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later thank you so so much for always sailing with me bye for now babies